rat race. The term Rat race. The term compares humans to rats that are seeking in vain to gain a prize such as cheese. Life is not about earning money and spending it. Let's end the paycheck to paycheck busy cycle. As we conducted this study, we hope to disentangle the rat race, change the minds of the people regarding finances as we determine the relationship of social factors that affects the financial literacy of the professional Filipinos. Your life is not a competition or a race to be financially stable or wealthy by working hard to earn money. Rather, it is about moving toward on getting out in this cycle that our society instilled to us. Financial success and freedom can be only achieved by being financially literate and not working for money for the rest of your life. Let your money work for you. I want to be a doctor and I want to be financially literate. I want to be a nurse and I want to be financially literate. I want to be an engineer and I want to be financially literate. I want to be a chemist and I want to be financially literate. I want to be an architect and I want to be financially literate. Our strength and our professions are not a hindrance. Financial literacy has no barriers. It's a beautiful day to defend our research. First, I would like to greet our dear panelists a pleasant afternoon. And without further ado, let's start. Our research is entitled Disentangling the Rat Race, Determining the Relationship of Social Factors on Financial Literacy of Professional Filipinos. For the statement of the problem, the main concern of this study is to determine the relationship of social factors on the financial literacy of professional Filipinos. Specifically, the study seeks to answer the following questions. Number one, how may social factors of professional Filipinos be described based on the following dimensions? 1.1 age, 1.2 education, 1.3 profession, 1.4 monthly income, 1.5 years of work experience, and lastly, 1.6 family practices in financial management. Number two, how may financial literacy of professional Filipinos be described in terms of the following? 2.1 financial knowledge, 2.2 financial behavior, 2.3 financial attitudes, 2.4 budgeting and tax planning, 2.5 managing liquidity, 2.6 financing large purchases, 2.7 protecting life and assets, 2.8 investing savings, and 2.9 planning and retirement and estate. Number three, is there a significant relationship between the social factors and financial literacy of professional Filipinas? And lastly, for the number four, how do the respondents from finance-related and random or non-financial professionals read their financial literacy? For our conceptual framework, here is Mr. William Wan to discuss. The dependent variable of the research, financial literacy, is depicted in the figure. As in the independent variable, social factor including age, education, 
profession, monthly income, years of work experience, and financial practices on financial man management. Thus, this conceptual conceptual framework will build the foundation of the variables present in the study um, to determine its correlational to towards the binding of this research. This study was anchored on different important theories in financial literacy. The first is a theory of personal budgeting written by Simon Galperty in the year 2016. According to Amerix et al. 2003, this approach helps many households manage their monthly budgets and cut expenses. These findings led credence to the hypothesis that the channel between wealth increase and the proclivity to plan functions via a, via a type of effortful self-control. The second is financial literacy theory. A theory written by Levante Kovacs and Eleanor Fairfax stated that people must be able to make sound financial judgments in an increasingly dangerous and globalized environment. For the theoretical framework, the utmost box includes the variables of the study, the social factors, and financial literacy of professional Filipinos. The next two boxes were the chosen theories that have been contextualized in this study. The last box was the expected outcome of the relationship between the two variables. For the introduction, financial literacy is the understanding and having the confidence in managing your personal finances, Fernando 2021, such as budgeting, saving, investing, borrowing, financial planning, insurance, and taxation. On the other hand, those lacking of those skills and knowledge are called financially illiterate. Academic success does not quantify financial success even if you graduated with flying colors and in a prestigious university, the chances of being financially free are not guaranteed. In the assessment of the financial knowledge of the Filipinos, 25% are advanced and have major in finance or work-related sectors, 31% are above average, and interested in finance, 21% are average, 17% are below average, while 3% do not have basic financial knowledge at all, according to RoboCash Group in the Assessment on Financial Knowledge of the Filipinos. The findings reveal neither a decent academic education nor a stable income can shield a person from a financial shortfalls. Hence, financial illiteracy can result in financial discomfort and insecurity, especially with the current situation that makes it difficult to cope with the effects of the pandemic and health crisis. Furthermore, if this problem continues to arise in the next generation, more Filipinos will experience financial struggle and the economy might be affected due to poor financial planning or due to poor financial decisions that lead to poverty. For the related literature, even though the Philippines has one of the fastest growing economies in the world, not everyone is financially literate. According to Banco Central ng Pilipinas or BSP survey done in May 2018, barely 2% of Filipino citizens are financially literate. Apparently, the majority of Filipinos would rather spend than save. They save solely on what's left over from their salary, and if there's nothing left, they don't have anything to save. A study from Busardi, Mitchell, and Oguero entitled Millennials and Financial Literacy, a Global Perspective, states that financial literacy is an important aspect in understanding financial difficulties. According to research, having more financial awareness is linked to a better potential of being able to handle an expected expense. Financial literacy, in addition, has an independent influence on decreasing financial stress. A study from Lawrence Agkawli entitled Pinoy's Need to Improve Financial Literacy stated, Banco Central ng Pilipinas or BSP announced that there is a need to enhance financial literacy and potential to assist Filipino families in coping and recovering from the socioeconomic impact of a crisis. 
even in the absence of a crisis, failure to provide for particular priorities such as emergency savings or additional costs that lead to over-indebtedness can jeopardize a family's health, unity, and satisfaction. According to the findings, the correlation between social factors and factors of financial literacy show that there is a low to moderate positive relationship between the profession and financial literacy factors. Um, therefore, um, we conclude that some social factors or profession have a moderate um, re relationship with the financial literacy of the professionals. Moreover, in terms of age, education, monthly income, and years of experience, um, there is a low positive relationship. However, we can still say that social factors have a positive relationship with the financial liter uh, literacy of the professionals. After the initialization of the findings, the researchers concluded that respondents' Facebook group community affects their financial literacy. Since most of the respondents gathered came from the community that talks about finances. Hence, this resulted in a small differences in terms of financial literacy level in group two, non-finance related when compared to group one finance group. The gap between their financial literacy levels in some areas are quite close. In the correspondence in the related study, the analysis reveals that the findings of this research have an interrelation with each other. In terms of profession, the study of Jamie Wagner 2019 supports the findings. He stated that financial background is positively related to financial literacy scores. This is reflected in the average financial literacy scores. When compared to individuals who did not receive any financial background, those who received financial background had statistically higher financial literacy ratings. Monthly income findings in the financial literacy of the professionals were supported by study of Sylvia Franco de Oliveira 2019. She stated that low income is linked to low financial literacy, but income does not alter one's ability to learn knowledge or exhibit good behavior patterns that lead to financial help. Now, let us proceed with our recommendations. Professionals should learn more about financial literacy if they wanted financial stability and financial freedom. They can learn from different free resources and platforms that teach financial education. Implementing financial education in the school systems of the Philippines will be one of the keys to improving the financial literacy of new generation Filipinas. The Department of Education should introduce financial education subjects in the current curriculum. Parents are the foundation of the education of a child. Parents should be the first one to practice, teach, and guide their children in terms of educating them about financial literacy. And for the future researchers that will conduct the study related to this research, modify the variable and find more significant social factors that affect the financial literacy of the professionals. They can add free group influence and other sources of information that affects the financial the, that affects and follow in different social media platforms, communities or groups. Next, the government should support the movement or implication of financial literacy in our country. They can build the agency that strictly monitors and implement the programs of financial literacy for every Filipinos. And lastly, we recommend that disentangling the rat race is one of the ways to achieve financial freedom and success. Utilizing this idea will help the professionals to get out of living paycheck to paycheck basis. They should remember that it's not how much they earn, but it is how much they save, invest, and practice personal finance. Learning financial literacy and discovering how money works will enable everyone to get out in this self-defeating case, the rat race, that soon they will realize as they master financial literacy that money should not work for us and not us working the money for the rest of our life. Before ending our presentation, we would like to leave a quotation that it is not about how much you earn, 
It is about how much you save and invest. Pay yourself first. That's all and we thank you for listening.